and welcome everyone to another episode of Covens and Cauldrons, a Casters and Castles production. Uh, we've been on hiatus, so I'm going to just roll us right back in here. Thank you everybody who's tuning in. Uh, I am very excited to get back underway. It has been a couple of weeks away. We've had some stuff fill in the space. In the meantime, thank you for everybody who's been involved in that. But uh, we are ready to dive back into the Fey Otherworld. My name is Pyrotechnics. I will be your game master today. And let's go ahead and once again introduce our wonderful cast, starting with the man who has the most interesting backgrounds in the world. It is Boopasaurus Rex. <laughs> Boop, want to shout yourself and your character out? Hello, my name is Boopus. Sorry, he said shout. Uh, hi, my name is Chris. Uh, Boopsaurus is my uh, tag that most of everyone knows me as. Um, and I am playing Hald Fear. And I'm kind of like where I've been the last couple weeks still. Like still trying to find my patron. Still developing context. I'm definitely one of the stereotypical people with parental issues that I'm still going through um, and solving. But... Um, one thing I am really good at is getting projectiles stuck in my shoulder. So we're really looking forward to that. Um, I'm also really good at surviving friendly fire uh, from <laughs> from Ninkasi. So uh, we'll see if I will still have to endure that for the future. Oh, that um, you're safe. It's fine. Kinda, it's fine. Kinda summed up. <laughs> speaking of uh, speaking of friendly fire, um, yeah, let's talk to uh, Eloana. Wow, okay. Uh, that's a great transition. Thanks. Uh... I didn't cast Thunderwave on, on my team. I don't know what you're talking Look, about. I wasn't trying to down anyone. It just happens. Okay. Bites. I'm trying not to do it again. It's fine. <laughs> I have an ability now for that that doesn't involve damage. We're good. Um, anyways, <laughs> cool. I'm Elwana and I'm playing Inkazi. I am your Water Ganazi cleric. I'm a Tempest cleric. And uh, yeah, sometimes I hurt my friends on accident. <laughs> On accident, yeah. I mean, these things happen uh, sometimes, and, and it also is important to clear away uh, fog that, that messes with everybody's brains. Um, yeah. How about uh, Space Ghost, Coast to Coast? Would you like to introduce Hello, yourself Hello, it's me, a stranger to everybody who's been tuning in. <laughs> I am back, and I am ready to throw knives at things. <laughs> that is my reason to live. If you can guess her <laughs> class. Uh, yeah, no, I love playing rogues. They're fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you've enjoyed wearing my skin. That's very important to me. By yeah, the way, that's... look at this Hextech chest that I got from Grubhub. Do you see Ooh, this thing? That is cool. Do you oh see man, this that's thing? huge. That's it's very close. massive. It's very cool. Yeah. Anyway, just wanted Grubhub to point send that. me one. Cool. Yeah, did you, did you get a key as well? Because, you know, like I, I always need the fragments. No. Well, maybe probably that's in Jace's one. office. What's Grubhub? <laughs> Anyway. Yeah, we don't have a sponsor for that. We don't have a sponsor. Yeah, we don't have a sponsorship. So well, hold on, I didn't. Tell I don't you. know we her. Don't have a sponsor. All right, growing. No free advertising. <laughs> I don't How about know. How you, Uh, my name is Well Crowen, and uh, I'll be playing uh, Leo, the human bard who likes to, uh, you know, recite poetry at enemies and at friends. You know, everyone can get some bars. That's him. I appreciate the psychic damage that your poetry causes, but it's also very, very uh, <laughs> pleasant. And uh, he writes all of his own stuff, everyone. Uh, mm -hmm. I swear. All original. It's awesome. And then last He's unlike certainly... Fiona Apple. Literally all of us are attracted to him. <laughs> 100%. Mm -hmm. Every single person. That's true. Uh, last but certainly not least, uh, it is Mr. Kenobi Casts. Hi. Uh, I, I'm Kenobi. I play Kaza. Uh... My character likes to punch pe people and start revolutions. Um, <laughs> I mean, there's nothing else. I mean, oh, I also throw... I, Kaza throws Curly as his primary move. That's mm -hmm. the other thing. Chubby Bunny. Chubby Bunny. Mm -hmm. Best best sibling uh, circus duo. I love it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and... Uh, uh, yeah, so that's that's our cast. Um, this is, of course, a... As I've mentioned, a Wild Beyond the Witchlight campaign for those of you just tuning in for the first time. And as a part of Castles and Castles, I do want to shout out some awesome freaking merch. I don't know if it's still available, and I didn't ask gnomes about this, but if you can get one, the Ioth Academy hoodies are in stock somewhere, I hope. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. If I'm wrong, gnomes, tell them in chat. They're freaking awesome. You should totally get one if you have the ability to do so. They're hella comfy. Otherwise, I'm just an asshole for saying they're comfy and you can't get one. Wow, the caster really Anyways. came out there. <laughs> yeah, wow. Did you yeah. hear? Did you all hear that? Did you all hear the professional play-by-play -play caster? That professional was just... is, is, is borderline um but yeah anyways uh i think i do have one other thing i want to tell everybody and that is just to make sure you've been following along the active god system has been enabled for the past several sessions wherein 
uh, thanks to your generous contributions that go to cast and crew, you can make some really bizarre shit happen. If you would like to get involved, you can check us out, uh, ko-fi.com uh, slash uh, casters and castles, I believe, and you can outright buy an act of God. Also, uh, the Twitch subs will be enabled for this particular one, and you will see the bar creep up, and we will see if some acts of God occur this time or perhaps the next. But without further ado, I think it is time to get into our session. So, last time, you all had split into two teams to try and <laughs> enter the Brigands' Tollway. A alpha team were disguising themselves as brigands, curly, dressed up uh, in the guise of one, although already being a herring gun made it a little bit easier. Uh, Leo gone invisible, and of course, uh, Hald having uh, used a disguise self spell to pass himself off as another herring gun, making your way into the tollway and finding the brigand leader who had a suspiciously similar look to your friend Curly. Whereas the rest of you waited in the muck outside, hoping not to be spotted as you had no easy way to disguise yourselves. However, while you were waiting and had time to yourselves, you realized there was a particular flaw in your plan that you might not be able to hear your fellows call for help should they need it as they were far enough away and through the fog. So, with that, you started off following at a cautious clip, trying to compensate for Ninkasi's heavy armor by carrying her on her shoulders. Uh, Kaza managed to make his way with the rest of you through the steps very, very easily, very, very slowly. And... Just as you were getting to the front, you were so close, you were noticed at the last second by some of the outpost guards. At the same time, Leo invisibly had followed Agden Longscarf very closely as he made his way through the hideout into his room and just barely had trod on the trailing bit of his very long flowing scarf and already suspicious, Agden closed the door behind him, locking you out but as the alarm was sounded, a streak of teal blue whizzed by you out the open door and the battle ensued. Quick as lightning, Agden proved very difficult to catch and in the midst of it all, hunting horns sounded. All of you discovered that you had gained an ability to put a hunter's mark on anyone you choose. And I believe only one of you ended up using that, so keep track if you haven't. But while the other brigands were easy enough to dispatch, it took a monumental old person from Leo Linclair to stop Agden in place, pinning him down and forcing him to beg for his life. After a little bit of debate and discussion, you decided that you would let him lead you to downfall. The court of this frog-like people that lived around the de facto leader of Hither, the Hag Bavlorna Blightstraw. And as Agden led you down to his treasure hoard where the getaway boat was located, as well as much of the spoils of the brigands, you saw looming out of the darkness a red scaled snout of some kind of gigantic lizard. And it spoke to you, claiming that it had been a long time since a fresh meal had wandered so close. So as you stand on this island in the semi-darkness, with what you can now see is a dragon looming over you, I would like everyone to roll initiative. Uh, <laughs> bada bing, bada boom, everybody, let's go! Also, I may have missed this part, but I believe you called yourselves Bloodbath and Beyond. So I don't know if that's Oh yeah, that's <laughs> right. Let's go. See if you're but we really wanted it. to vote on it. Yeah, yeah. We, we did, we... but like, but like, come on. Like, I mean, <laughs> it is, are it we is gonna good. find anything it better is, than that? It is really good. It's really good. I, I just. I'm sure you can talk about it soon enough. Um, yeah, please uh, roll me initiative, and we will get through the rest. Um, actually, it looks like oh, as you are rolling, I'm getting it in my thing, which is freaking awesome. I don't actually have to fill it in. Sweet. Oh, I got the twenty. 
What was that accent that I just did? That's pretty much it. 20. <laughs> also, oh uh, God, it's what? Tuesday, yeah. isn't it? Wait, did mine not show up? What the heck? Yeah, if you want to reroll, that's okay. There's definitely a dragon on the screen. Love that. Mm -hmm, Red, mm -hmm, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, love that. Oh, love red dragons, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Good thing we all have Hunter's Mark. <laughs> we are going to kick off. And to start us off, let's change things up just a little bit on that music because I believe we have a little bit different music to play. All right. So. So. Just, to, just to, to give the picture of, of everything that's happening right now, you are on a fairly small island in the dark that appears to be surrounded by water uh, that is brackish, hard to see through. There's not a lot of sound in here as it's just like droplets dripping off the top of the stump, the ceiling stump, if you will. In front of you, this dragon looms, and at first it seemed that it was extremely large, and then as kind of look at like the, the shadows off the wall and, and through your light cantrip, um, you realize that's a bit of a, a bit of an illusion, a bit of a trick of the light. This creature that looms in front of you is not a lot larger than Kazo. Hmm. Not quite as big as you imagined. But first up in the order, as he was prepared for this, Agden Longscarf bites down hard on the hand holding him and Kasi, uh, I need you to make a deck saving throw. Okay. <clears throat> can you guidance the saving throw? Uh, you cannot. This is a reaction. It, it, it's it's like a react in the moment. A guidance is okay. kind of like something that's like pre-planned. Uh, okay. I got a five. <laughs> yeah, you instinctively pull your hand away. You do not take any serious damage, but Agden slips from under your grip. Son of a bitch. God damn it. <laughs> you just hear, ah! <laughs> and I will allow you all to react to it potentially, depending on uh, how things go. But uh, that was his. He's um, he has slipped out of your grip, and unfortunately, he's also first in the order. So after that surprise round, he is going to like leap away as fast as he can after taking a disengage action. Um, but... He doesn't. He doesn't like hit me with anything, does he? No, he is. He he literally like bites down. Mm. You like rip your hand away as like the pain comes in, and he is would you consider gone. that bite an attack though? It is an attack. It is an attack, but the way his intention was to basically just get you off of him. Okay, mm. well, well, technically, my <laughs> Wrath of the Storm is when a creature within five feet sees you and hits you with an attack, okay. and I get to make a reaction. Okay. I'm willing to so, go with you on this. And this is a okay. surprise round, so this doesn't count for your regular reaction timer. That's Actually, not... wait. I believe surprise means you can't take a reaction, though. Uh... Is that correct? Actually, probably. Right. I'm going to double check it really quick. Yeah. It's been a while since I've actually had that ever happen. <laughs> so I don't remember. Uh, yeah, no, it's, I, it, it normally wouldn't happen, but this is uh, this was something premeditated. So um, Yeah, you can't take reactions and surprise. Yeah. So okay. in this particular yeah, one, yeah, normally you would you would be able to. But yeah, he was he was kind of quick on the draw. Um, but yeah, he breaks away and he starts leaping uh, away from all of you. So, God damn it! First right. in the order to act is going to be Hald Thier. Uh, so, giving you an idea, you are on a fairly like thin map. I will let you guys choose where you've been placed. I assumed Nkasi was out in front because you were holding on to Acton. Yes, yes, that sounds pretty accurate. So the space is about ten feet wide. Um, so, so you you can be at most like two of you um, side by side. So, if anybody, uh, the, the dragon looks to be about maybe ten feet in front of you. Um, if anybody is a little bit further back, let me know what your what your space and what your ordering is. Okay, um, but so the guy with the scarf is still here, right? Yeah, he just well, you you took a scarf, and uh, I believe yeah, right. Kaza has it actually. Correct. But he has left away out of the way. Um, uh -huh. You, if you want to give me a quick perception check, like as this is all happening, you can see if you can make out which which way he's heading. Fourteen. 14? It looks like he's making for the skiff that you guys, like, rode your way here onto this little island in. Okay. God damn it. <laughs> what an asshole. All right, um, this is going to be a risk because I have no HP, but... Oh, we didn't I currently have you. By the way, I currently have you behind Ninkasi. Let, let me know if that's... If that's um, no, I want to actually get close. I, I need to get okay. within 10 feet of the dragon. You are currently 10 so, feet in front of the dragon. Okay, so I'm going to stay where I am then. 
Um, I, then... I didn't have you behind. I'm sorry. I had you next to Ninkasi. Okay, cool. Um, and then I'm going to use my Fey thingy. Do you have Do you have that back? Is that how many for for short rest? I never used it last time. Uh, I thought you used it on the the brigands. But I don't ha I don't have a check mark next to it. Oh, okay. Then oh, yeah. Do you want me to use it or not? No, no, no. I mean, if I, I like, if you didn't check it, I trust you to have, to have managed your stuff. So. Yeah, I don't feel like I used it. Okay. Also, uh, right. for the record, you have inspiration. Um, yep. Uh, Space Ghost has inspiration, or rather, uh, Curly has inspiration, and Kenobi has disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, chat. Love chat? It. I, asked, I asked for it. it. Hey. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, so I'm going to use Fate Presence, though. Okay. Um, so once per, so you make a saving throw of a 14. Okay. Uh, wisdom, yeah? Yes. All righty. Get him. Uh, ooh, boy. That is very, very, very close. Uh, and wouldn't you know, it's a failure. 13. <gasps> Yo. Wait, okay. I failed or you failed? Uh, I, this dragon failed. Oh, shit. I can write it. Okay. <laughs> so let me uh, let me double check what it says for uh, Fate Presence because I want to get the details of that right. You you just need to stop putting animals in front of us, or else this will happen every time. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's. Gotcha. I mean, look at my charm. It is, but it's also like, it's also fun. So I enjoy watching y'all uh, do your ridiculous stuff. Um, <laughs> where is this Fate Presence? Uh, you can cause each creature in a ten foot cube from you. You're not the. This is not the only one that has to make this save. Correct. Um, for the record, so the way this is a very small area. Everybody yeah. in your space is yep, in a ten foot cube. Yep. So I need everyone to make this this wisdom save for the record. Yep. Including Sir Talavar. Uh, man. Yes, Sir Talavar. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait. What are we? Wait, wisdom. Wisdom save? fourteen. Wisdom yeah. save. I rolled a fifteen, so I'm good. Sir Talavar rolled a seventeen. Ten. Of course he did. Okay, Leo, you failed. Oh, wisdom is not my strong suit. Three. <laughs> Also, Kyle oh, failed. and you have disadvantage too. Remember, you also have disadvantage. So oh, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah, yeah, you, get that like, you do. No, you no, no, no. I can get it out of the way. I can get it out of the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Double fail. <laughs> so everyone is charmed. You no, no, no. charmed the whole party. So who, who did I charm? I, I rolled a 15. I'm good. Yeah, okay, so fine. I charmed. Okay. So Kaza, Leo, and the dragon are all charmed. <laughs> all right. So I I look over at the dragon. I look over at my party. And I go, we have one thing and one thing to do. We will tame this dragon. But first, I will ride it. And everyone who's charmed is going to help me get on the dragon. I want to double check. This this actually applies even if you're in combat. That doesn't actually change anything, does it? Oh. That is a really insane ability. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm going it's to... It's like super vague, so it's pretty good. Yeah, it is super vague, but I'm I'm, I'm really yeah. curious um, to make so sure are we gonna actually... like? Are we going to Super Wolf win? Fucking put him up on the dragon. Is that what we're <laughs> yeah. doing? So, we're going to tame it. The charm <laughs> condition can't attack the charmer or target the charmer with harmful abilities or magical effects, and they have advantage. You have advantage on any ability check to interact socially with the creature. It doesn't mean the creature will do exactly what you want all the time. Yep. It may work. It may work on uh, random snakes and snails, but yep. this is a dragon. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, that is your that is your turn. That's your action. Um. Well, I can I can do other stuff. So um, uh, wait, that was a. Once per short rest as an action. Okay, so then I can move closer mm -hmm. to the dragon, right? Because uh, I haven't used any of my movement. Um, to where I'm like kind of close to the tail where I can mount. Okay. And you, you, you're actually about to do um, And I go. If I could ride a dragon fly, I could ride a dragon. And everyone, and I go ah. <laughs> no. It okay. Was a motivating factor. So, let me describe this. Uh, Hald steps up, and like this magical surge emanates out of him, and you all like 
kind of feel it like hitting you. And for Kaza and Leo in particular, you're like, man, Hald is such a cool guy. <laughs> wow. And Dude, Hald, so you cool. see the dragon like kind of like it's like eyes just like go out of focus for a second and then it looks back down on you and you could swear it's a little bit more open to you and as you get closer it doesn't make a move to stop you or to attack you and you get you get right up next to it right up within range um and that is your turn um yeah and then can i like pet the tail make a like make an animal handling check okay really quick you're allowed this because because of the charm inspiration you do have inspiration. <laughs> use the inspo no. nine it Nine. like it's like you know when a cat like doesn't want to be pet, but then you like do like a really nice pet. And the cat's like, <laughs> yeah. Okay, fine. It's like just yeah. like that tense, and then like okay, all right, cool. Now uh, it's the end of my turn. Excellent. Next up in the order, it is going to be what a, what a turn. Holy moly! It is Sir Talavar who has not noticed what the heck you are doing. Uh, of course. He pulls out his sword <laughs> and goes, "In the name of the good <laughs> lady." Neva of the golden hair, I say to you, I shall smite this fiend. And he flies at the dragon and takes a swipe. And Sir Talavar's stat block is there. I needed that. Sir Talavar rolls well. That is a 19 to hit. And he is going to do... Eight piercing damage. Double check where I am on that. Okay. Uh, pardon me one sec. I wanted to make sure there isn't any resistances here to keep in mind. There are not. Uh, okay. And the eye that was like looking at you, Hall, like shifts up as this like very small purple violet flare whizzes up and stabs in the scales and the dragon twists and goes, ah! Insect. Leo, your turn. All right. Uh, I think Leo, upon being charmed, kind of by Hold, was like going to turn to uh, you know the runaway Harrington, but thinks better of it. Turns to uh, Hold and says, "Hold, I can read your mind. I know what you want to do. This dragon shall be yours to ride. Now go and make it true." And oh! on Hold. Bro. Yeah, that was good. Got it. That got it. Was gotta clean my okay I, i'm gonna give I, i'm going to award leo inspiration because again i don't know how you keep how you keep doing this it's incredible appreciate incredible. it uh, and so then that's Bardic, um, right? yeah that's bardic bonus action and then we'll turn to the dragon and kind of narrow his eyes a little bit and say oh what a beast you are but is this what you call a lair there is even a pretty low bar but i guess you don't really care and cast vicious mockery on the dragon. so Duh. i want to say a turn is six seconds. Your like <laughs> BPM is so high right now. It's true. Rap god. Yeah, for real. He just goes from those two lines to the next two, yeah, uh, real quick. You know, what's the save? <laughs> uh, that'd be a DC. Oh god, let me see. DC fourteen wisdom, I believe. Failed one yeah, already. This time wisdom. just passes. Oh. All right, that is a okay. Okay. He thinks his lair is cool. That's fine. I respect he, he it. Thinks his lair is cool. Oh, yeah, is what it is. Uh, is Gotta that your guess. This is my crib. Up. <laughs> Welcome to Crips. Uh, Gotta yeah, gash yourself. Is... Sometimes. That is Leo's Curly, you are next, and Kaza, you'll be oh, up oh, last. Let's fill up my chair. Okay. Um. Yeah. Well, they're charmed, so like, I if I attack it, it removes a charm, right? Sure, uh, so it's it's not like it's not a like like mind control effect or anything. It's it's a it's a charm, and it's looking at Hald very much like like it does not seem bothered by his presence as he's petting the tail. However, Sir Talavar just flew up and stabbed it. <laughs> okay, yeah. I was like, mm. um. It does seem a little distracted, and that, that much so... is obvious with your passive perception. One second. Uh... Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast Sanctuary on Hald so he doesn't get his ass kicked. Um. <laughs> So basically, for a ne the next minute, uh, any creature who targets the warded creature, so hauled, with an attack or a harmful spell must first make a wisdom saving throw. So on a failed save, they have to choose a new target or lose the attack or spell. Um, so, yeah. Okay. So it's pretty dope. Cast that. Thank you. Okay. Uh, it's an EC 14 save if they want to attack hauled. Sanctuaried. All right. Is that your go? 
Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. Um, next in the order is going to be Curly. Kaza, you are on deck. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> they set up a dragon that wasn't pissed before, but now is because Sir Talvar poked him in the eyeball, I assume. <laughs> Fucking asshole. <laughs> Sir I Talvar know. just... God <laughs> damn it, Sir, Sir Talvar. Talvar. Sir Talvar is... Sir Talavar is very, very, uh... Macho. He's very... <laughs> Spicy. Uh, Monty Python's Sexy. Holy Grail, like, Lancelot. That is that is his vibe. <laughs> Truly incredible. Okay, so the dragon looks mad now? Like... The dragon is like, it It, it seemed fine when Hald went up and started petting it, and it's still right. letting Hald pet it. But... There is now like an angry glance as it's following around Sir Talavar the way that you might follow around a, uh, a mosquito that's buzzing in your room. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm gonna have actually. I'm. I'm not gonna engage quite yet for fighting, but I. I am gonna be like, hey, hey, Sir Talavar. Why'd you stab it? We didn't even. Are you sure this is a a bad dragon? <laughs> this dragon is a foul fiend of the pit. I have never met the red dragon that was once on the side of good. Well, that's a bummer. I guess I'll throw a knife at it. <laughs> okay. Roll for attack. <laughs> I guess I'll just throw a knife at it, as usual. Love it. Mm. I'm going to keep the other one, though, just, you know, for later. You need the other knife for later. You need those, you know those <laughs> knives that, like, pop back up in your hands, like old Diablo 2, like <laughs> javelins, you know? <laughs> like Captain, like a Captain, shitty Captain America. Knife. Yeah, but with knives. Uh, 16 to hit. That does not. The... Dagger flies true, bounces oh, no. off the scale, and lands into the ground uh, about five feet in front of you. Um. Oh. <laughs> well, that's it. That's the end of my turn. Okay. <laughs> Kaza, you are up. And as you look at this thing and, and the fight that is going on around it, um, a memory hits you. Oh, oh no. Hooded figures coming into your coming into your village when you were a child, demanding something of your birth parents and the insignia that they wore on their robes. A large horned red dragon. And vaguely you remember a name. Dar Ibarshan. And something wakes up in you, something angry that you haven't felt for a long time. Huh? That's it. Your turn. I'll put that in shit. Okay. Uh, am I still charmed? And you, is you my, think you think still... like Bald is the coolest, the coolest mofo on the planet right now? But you are also like you also like get that get that like memory in your head of like these dragon cultists that that were quite okay. demanding of your of your people's but, tribe. But I'm still char but Kaza's still charmed, correct? You're charmed, and... but it doesn't it doesn't mean you can't like do anything. It just sort of means like it just sort of means like if you wanted to attack Hald, for instance, it would it would be very difficult for you to do that. You wouldn't want to. Would 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 it would would my goal based off of the spell would cause his goal be to put Hald on the dragon to make him fly on it? Is that like how that would work, or it do I just like think that, Hald is? It seems like that's what he wants to do, and you see no reason. Okay, why you so let Hald get what he wants. Okay, well then, so so Kaz is gonna Kaz is just gonna walk up to Hold Hald because it's, it's not the dragon's not bigger than. Kaza, right? It's it's a it's bigger than you, but not by much. It's not like looming over you all as could the I way you lift all Hald onto the neck of the dragon? Yeah, you could you could certainly put him up and put him on top of that. Yeah, okay, that's what that's if what that's what Kaza's to. gonna do. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Kaza's gonna, Kaza's gonna try to do that. Okay, Kaza's gonna try it because he he's angry, but he's also thinking about how cool Hald is right now. <laughs> and We're how gonna make this it is how it is how it is imperative. To the okay. success of this fight, that Hald is made to fly the dragon. This is an animal handling check with advantage, and this is not going to be super hard because this dragon also thinks Hald is the coolest thing. See, okay. <laughs> Charm is crazy. 
14. Yeah, that's enough. Uh, the dragon stiffens up as you approach, but then as you pick up Hald and put, put him on the back of the dragon, it relaxes a little bit. Do you back away or are you staying within the range? Uh, <laughs> Cause is gonna like pat Hald on the head and say, I stay, you go, and just well, stand right there. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, is that uh, your turn? Amazing. Yeah, that's reference. His, yeah, that's his turn. <laughs> Top of the hour, uh, Acton Longstar Scarf makes it to the boat and starts the process of GTFO. Hold, you are up. Okay, oh, so that's right. where am I right now? You are on the back of this dragon as it is Okay. watching Sir Talavar whiz around it and very, very carefully allowing people to get close to it. Okay, can I... So I'm on the dragon now. Am I, like, in a riding position? You are, like, you are like, like sitting on it. There's no, like, there's no saddle or anything, but, yeah, you're sitting well, on yeah. the dragon. Yeah, but... Uh, do I, I mean, like... But, like, I have... I can ride it. Like, is there anything to grab onto? You're currently riding it. I mean, the neck. Yeah, so I'm going to ride it, and I'm going to try to make it nosedive directly into the ground. So it's not off the ground at the moment. It's currently like oh. s like standing, like reared up a little bit. Oh. But you're, t you're saying oh. you want it to like dive its head into the ground? Uh, yeah, I want to be like bam, bam. You know, like in a countertop. Yeah. <laughs> so you, how are you, how are you attempting to get it to do this? Um, I'm getting up to the neck, and I'm still petting it, right? And I'm just giving it positive affirmations. You know, <laughs> like okay. you are loved, you are cared for, your feelings. Are and emotions are valued. Um, and I would like you to know... Actually, I'm changing my plan a mid-sentence. That we're your friends, and we can help you. Okay. Give me a persuasion check. With advantage. This is hard, okay. but you have advantage. Courage. <laughs> uh, 15. 15 is not going to be enough. It looks no! Awesome. It is... Oh, you do have Bardic, right? Bardic is oh, I have Bardic! I have Bardic! 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 Okay. No. Uh, the dragon turns back at you, and the eye that was very much fixated on uh, Sir Talavar's it is better to be feared than loved, and turns back. Does not stop you from climbing the neck, but uh, seems to have disregarded your advice. Okay. Um, and then I go, I, I understand. Um, if you need some food, you can have him, and I point at Sir Talavar. Gladly. Uh, that Yo. is. That is your turn. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is now the dragon's turn. <laughs> and uh -oh. Uh, the uh -oh. dragon is going to reach out and attempt to bite at Sir Talavar. Good. Uh, bars. Well, better him than us. Okay. Would he like count be counted as grappled right now? Uh, not unless you were attempting to like hold like the like the you know uh, the the like head wings back or something or the wings okay. back yeah it's it's okay. like the dragon's not taken off it's not flying right now this is a pretty low ceiling okay. as well um, okay and with a four twenty four to hit that definitely Ooh, does fuck okay mm. so oh. Sir Talavar is bit and that is going to be a total of this is the first time he's taken damage I think. Oh boy. Uh, Y'all, question for you. If mm -hmm. I roll a zero mm -hmm. on a d10, that's a 10? Yes. It's a 10. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Good to know. You can't roll zero. Oh, <laughs> that would Fair. suck. Fair. That's, uh, that's a very good point. Uh, that does make a big difference. Um... Uh -oh. Better him than us, right? Hey, this dragon stretches out their neck. And in the midst of the air, with the finesse of, like, Mr. Miyagi grabbing the fly, just like, chomps down on the neck of Sir Talavar, and he goes, he's weaving in and out with his sword. Ha 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 ha! 
and he gets got. Uh, I'm muted. Did you just kill him? Did you just kill Sir Talavar? Sir just... Talavar disappears into the mouth of this dragon, and I will not tell you oh. how many hit points he may or may not have. Oh, no. When's my turn? <laughs> oh, um, fuck. Let's see. Is there anything else? Um... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. The wings start beating on the dragon, <coughs> and it starts levitating a few feet above Kaza. You are technically within range to perform an attack of opportunity, should you like to. Oh yes, hundred percent. Okay. That's a fucking thirteen. Let's go. Yeah, you, you, you like you're a little surprised at how fast he was able to take off the ground, and you just swing and a miss. Uh, this dragon is now forty feet up in the air with hauled on its back. Oh, you're flying it. Uh, and now it is going to be Sir Talavar's turn. <laughs> gonna roll something? I'm We're flying the dragon, right. everyone. Uh, yeah, we did it. I'm Leo's doing it. turn. Okay. Um, question. How far away is Agden at this point, and can Leo get within 60 feet of him? Um, Agden has had a couple of turns to go his max distance without his scarf. Um, and that is enough to hop in the boat and start the process of growing it back to the main island. I'm going to say at about this time, he is about, he's just kicking off the shore. He's about yep. 60 feet behind you. Okay, if he's within 60 feet, get that him. Is good. Yeah, a little, uh, all right, a little, little combo move, and the, the last line of this will be the unsettling words, but uh, I think Leo will, Leo's voice turns to a whisper. Gaspering dissonant whispers and say, in this tale, you're not the hero. Shame you thought yourself brave. It's time you learned my words cut deeper than the sharpest glaive. It's time you learned my words can send you to your grave. And, uh, isn't it what it is? Okay. Agden. What is the saving throw? DC 14 wisdom save. Oh my goodness. Is and actually, we'll cast that at second level. Okay. Okay. Let's go. I'm um, trying to see what his bonus. Okay. He does pass because he has a surprisingly high wisdom score. Frick. Um, okay. I rolled that a natural 13, but he has he has a, he has a much yeah. higher score. That's fine. Still get the um, still get to do some damage. Still get to do some damage, and he didn't have a lot of hit points in that fight. Wait, who didn't oh, have a lot of hit points in that fight? Bad roll. Y'all had y'all had more or less downed him or close enough. Uh, you yep. I guess that is a 10, so half a 10, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Agden stops rowing and collapses oh. on, onto the boat. Nice. Okay. Good. That's enough. Should. Okay. Right. Good. Uh, and that's uh, anything else, Leo? Uh, nope. That was action. Bonus action. We're chilling. Okay. Ninkasi. Okay. Uh, this dragon is how far again? 40, 40 feet up feet? in the air and about uh, 10 feet in front of you. I'm not going to do the Pythagorean theorem. Don't worry, don't worry about it. Do... Roughly speaking, in 40, 50 <laughs> feet, you can get range. Okay, so I am going to use shatter on Welcome. it. So basically, it's a sudden loud ring noise, painfully intense, erupts from a point of your choice within range. My range is 60 feet. Um, the creature is going to take 3d8 thunder damage on a failed save. Um, but with my channel div divinity, channel divinity, I can use it to deal maximum damage instead of rolling for my damage. Okay. Um, but I'm going to make sure you. it hits first. I will remind so, you, uh, Hald is I'm writing. the dragon. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> but I'm, I'm, oh, it's a third time, it's, baby. Okay. Let's do but, it. <laughs> okay. It's, it's, it's a, it's a sphere. How big is this creature? Uh, this is a medium sized creature for, oh, wait, for, it's, for, oh, for yeah. it's the size of Kaza. Oh. It's a little bigger than Kaza, but yeah, it's. Damn it. Kaza's still a medium creature. Hold, why are you on it? <laughs> no. Why not? Why do you keep oh using God. abilities that hurt your okay. friends? <sighs> I told you guys this would happen. Like half. Okay, so I'm not gonna do that then. That's right, cause it's a, it's a, it's a sphere. Fuck. Um, I don't I mean, really have. You can have... do it. No. <laughs> no. All right, hold on. This is, this Let me reread the, the dark side. Oh. This is the, this is the new <laughs> <villain arc. laughs> I kill all of my friends. Okay. Um. I was once an adventurer like you, and then everyone else took an arrow to the knee. Yeah, this one's way more lame damage, but okay. Um, so in that case, instead, I'm going to cast my spiritual weapon. Uh, 
because that has the same range, but okay. it won't hit hauled. Um, I do less cool damage, but that's okay. It's just force damage. So I'm going to have a spiritual weapon pop up, like, in front of its face. Um, I'm going to have a... What weapon do I want? I want a mace to show up in its face. Um, mace to the face, gotcha. And yes, yeah, so let's do... Uh, it's a plus six to hit. Wow, I rolled a natural one. What the fuck? Do I get inspiration for being dressed up today? <laughs> I, did, no, I did say... I, I You have claimed it at, a, at an opportune moment. I did say in the past that anyone who cosplayed their character would get inspiration on the day. So, cool, yes. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna roll with inspiration then. Oh, natural 20. Jesus Christ, thank nice. God. Nice. Uh, what? What a swing. Thank God. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Roll your okay. damage. It's double dice. All right. Can I can I double it? crit damage? Roll his crit damage. Space mace in the face. All right. Eight damage. I can't I can't max that out with my channel divinity, but it's better than nothing. So there's a mace in front of its face, mm -hmm. bonking it on the nose. The snoot. Uh. Bad dragon. Boop Get the snoot. Out. Right. Give me my Sir Talavar back. You please. hit it across the face, and it's just like, and a little flash of violet <laughs> in, out of the mouth lands in my the child. water. My like, child! Oh. Like, just sinks, just oh. immediately like, like pops into the water, and just like you don't see anything as there's okay. like a, a, a splash in the dark. Okay, I haven't moved. Can I jump into the water? Yeah, that's movement. Okay, I'm gonna move into the water and like swim towards the what I presume is Sir Talavar. I can breathe underwater. What is your water swim speed? Uh, I believe it is the same. Oh, you have 30 speed. feet. Yeah. Uh, you see a badly injured and bloodied Sir Talavar through the like brackish. I'll, I'll say you can see him through the water because you you are a water Ganazi. You are very familiar with like water of all varieties of clearness and otherwise. Um, he looks very hurt. He is okay. just past your range, so you are swimming towards him. You can get close, but you can't get to him on okay. 30 feet. Okay. Um, well, actually, is... so... Technically, that... Oh, wait, no, casting the spiritual weapon is... No, the casting time is a bonus action. Yeah, you, so I technically uh, still have an action. Can, can I technically double move? Uh, yeah, because I, I, I don't think I don't think the attack like the first attack is part of the bonus action, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then um, moving it and attacking again. Yeah. If you want to, if you want to dash and 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 basically use the rest of your movement speed to catch up and, and get Sir Talavar, you can. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna like just catch up to him so I can spare the dying next round. Okay. Yeah, you've got him. In, Presuming you, he's you, dying. You've got him. You've got him in. Uh, you've got him in your arms. He seems very very injured as you're sitting underwater at the moment. Uh, and that is your go. Yeah. Okay, Curly, you're up. Kaza on deck. You're muted. Curly is muted. No. <laughs> My bad. Uh, also, you have more right. inspiration if you haven't used your first yet. I don't think you have. It's okay. I like the. I'll take the pity inspiration. I will take that and I will do something maybe, with maybe it. Maybe people we'll just out. like knife throwing rabbits. I mean, how can you not? Yeah. Uh, okay, so. If Judy Hopps wasn't going to be a cop, this was going to be Plan B, right? True. God, that's true. Oh my God, you just said my wife's name. Um, <laughs> whew, I would like to clarify, I am not a furry, but we'll save that discussion you know what? later. You um, know what? Furries aren't bad people. That's all I'm gonna say. I literally had a conversation the other day that there's so much artistic and the technical talent in the furry community. They kicked the Nazis out untouched. of their community. Yeah, and that's good the fash furries. Right. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, they kicked out the furry fash, so yeah. I mean they're good with us. Uh, okay, I'm I'm debating between. Did, did I adjacent. see? Pull up chat. Um, <laughs> furry. I'm furry adjacent. Um, <laughs> did I see um, long scarf pass out in the boat? Um, like, what's your passive? Hear that what's at all? your passive perception? This is this is pretty. This is a pretty hectic battle, and there's a dragon in front of you. That hold is riding. There's a what? There's a dragon Just in kidding. front of you. Yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> my passive perceptions too. Yeah. So. There's a dragon in front of you. Holy shit! Um, <laughs> yeah, you, you have not you have not seen like it's very distracted. If you want to look around, if you want to like look around for Agnon Long Scarf now, you can make a perception check. I'm gonna do that. Okay. 
I don't I don't have to, you know, like I'm not like married to this idea, but I feel like Curly's a little sus and a little unsettled <laughs> by that Harrigan, so yeah. it's rolling. We're it's rolling. almost there. Rolling five. Uh oh, no. you do not see him. You don't know where <laughs> that got to. <laughs> not only that, I fall over into the mud. No, um oh. <laughs> Okay, uh So can we can't see Sir Talvar, right? He's inside the dragon. He got spat out by Ninkasi's mace to the face, and Ninkasi oh, dove in the water the after him. I mean, you saw him spit something out, but he had just chomped. No, on it's Sir a different Talibar, dragon so. that he ate earlier in the day. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. What what is what is dragon doing now? Floating up in the air with Hald on its back, looking around as the mace like slammed into it. Okay. It looks aggressive at every one of you. Mm, I am gonna try to jump on top of it. It's 40 feet up, for the record. <laughs> okay, I can't do that. I don't think you have quite that jump speed. Damn it. Um, okay, I'm going to try to shoot... I'm going to... I'm going to try to throw a dagger at its eyeball, and even though I know I'm not going to be successful, I'm still going to just fuck it. I'm still going right. to try. What is, uh, what is the range on a thrown dagger? It'll look cool. It looks like it's 60. Uh, is it 60 oh, max dang. or is it 60 and then something else in parentheses? Because that's the... No, it's just six. Or it's... No, wait, hold on. Let me drag my window. I have my window popped in the corner here. No worries. Yeah, I just wanted to double check because uh, I think that might be the max well, that's range. That's probably... If that's max range, um, it's with disadvantage. Yeah, so the max range is 60. Yeah. I think it's 30, 30, 60, right? Yeah. So that's, that's a or roll 20, with disadvantage, 60. but you can use your inspiration or one of them to turn that into a regular roll. Okay, I'm going to use my inspiration to turn it into a regular roll. Okay, and I'll give you the other and one. I'm... You have another point of inspiration after this, thanks to chat. Chat! <laughs> they really want me to hit that motherfucker. <laughs> Just kidding. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. It's fine. 14. Unfortunately, it's not enough to hit still. Uh, as the dragon flies up into the air, you misjudge the distance just a little bit, and the dagger goes sailing past over Hall's ear. Uh, and hits the back of the tree with enough force to Im embed itself into the into the wood. Not the ears. Get, hey, 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 Hall. Hey, 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 hey. Can you get that for me? <laughs> I can't hear you. Can you? While you're up there. Hey, do you think you can? Hello. You think, can you get that for me? <laughs> what? Can I pat the what? Marco. I'm going through a tunnel. <laughs> Marco? Who's Marco? Oh. All right, you want to do anything else? You still have your movement. There's a dagger in front of you that it dropped to the Yeah, ground. I'm going to go grab my dagger. That's okay. all I'm going to use for my movement, and I'm good. All right, uh, it's Mark, going to be no. Paz's turn, uh, and uh, then it's going to be hauled after that. Well, not immediately. I'm not attuned to this scarf that I got, right? Uh, I would assume that Kaza is not attuned to it. It does say it requires attunement, right? Yes. But... Yeah, you are not currently attuned to it now. You, need, you okay. need to take some time with it. Is there any feasible way that Kaza can get up to the dragon, or no? Give me a perception check. Ooh. That's There's a fucking a eight. Let's go. <laughs> you are looking around and trying to see if there's like a foothold or is there something you can do, and you just, it's, it's still a little too dark. It's still a little bit too hectic. You can't see anything, and that memory, that feeling of these Dragon cultists burning your village is still in your head. It's okay, yeah, Kaz is gonna in front of you. Kaz is gonna rage, and is also going to take out one of his hand axes and chuck it as hard as he can at the dragon. All right, go ahead and roll him. Um, I think this is still actually you were well with it. It's forty feet straight up, so like if you're aiming straight up, I... <laughs> he's literally he's aiming for like the neck. Yeah, is that is it? What's the range? The throne speed still max sixty, just like that. Twenty sixty, yeah. Twenty sixty, yeah. It's gonna be with disadvantage, um, unless you wanted to make it reckless. Oh, I can reckless that. I think you can reckless a ranged attack, right? Uh. Am I wrong? I think so. I'm gonna allow first it attack on your turn, you can decide to attack recklessly, giving you. Oh yeah, okay. So yeah. 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 Okay. I mean, yeah. It's gonna have advantage attack, on attacks sure. against you, but. I don't fucking care. So it's it's another a 13. Yeah, floats up, comes right back down. The good news is it lands right back in your hand. It's kind of a neat trick, but unfortunately, <laughs> just it, like it dodges away on the wing as you. Uh, We're at hibachi. 
You We're see, at Hibachi. I just you, <laughs> you see me like on the dragon, like real quick, give you a thumbs up. Like I noticed that. That was cool. <laughs> it did look pretty cool, admittedly. Yeah. Uh, this dragon's just doing a good job uh, of bobbing and weaving. Um, yeah, else? fuck this dragon. Uh. Wait. Uh, and then wait. Can I activate my fucking my peeps? My is that a my spirit raging guardian, is action, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's you would need another action or another bonus. Action. Oh no! It it happens automatically while oh, I rage. Never so. mind. It happens automatically. Yeah. So um, I believe Sick. you wanted okay. to work with me on this. I think there was uh, yeah. You see a number of spectral Goliaths kind of appearing around you. Um. Blank faces this time. They're not. Woo! Nice. Um, but they all glare up at the dragon. The homies. Okay, yeah, that's ancestors. all I can do. Okay, top of the order. Uh, let, me, let me roll something here. Uh, okay, Hald, you are up. Um, how far away am I from the water? You are forty feet up in the air, and the water was like a, a slope off and away. I mean, if you were to like jump off the back of the dragon, it would be like a like. It would be roughly like a 45 foot fall into the water. 45 foot fall. And you can okay, easily um, like, position yourself to land in the water. I Is there a way for me to try to control the dragon to fly closer to the water? You can certainly speak to the dragon and attempt to convince them to do that. Yeah. And I say, okay, if you would like to instill fear in your uh, enemies, show them what you can do while under the water <laughs> you, want, you, want, you want the dragon to go under the water well just get closer because i'm going to do something once i get closer to the okay water. so might i suggest you say to like sweep down low um yeah sweet okay. jerry yet. how dare uh give me a give me a persuasion check with advantage because this creature is charmed by you oh uh, i got 24 oh yeah and 18. Easily, easily. Looks at you and goes, this is an excellent idea. Sweeps down um, nearly at level on the ground. At, for what all of you see, the dragon kind of like banks a little bit and kind of like turns almost like this is not a large space, but they're working with what they've got. And they swing down like basically just above the surface of the water. Um, still okay. facing you all the whole time, but they're now on your left. I'm doing something now. So I'm going to use shape water now mm -hmm. um, from uh, on the back of the dragon and then put it on the wing and then try to freeze the water on its wings so it can't fly Ooh, anymore. Oh, you're going. Okay. Okay. Uh, woo. That's fucking So you can like, That's wait, it's so two different things you can do. Is that, is that all part of the same action? I think so. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to say yes. I mean, I want you, this to happen. You can do up to I, three effects. Yeah. At the same the time. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I got the dragon close, and so I'm shaking feet, water. So you can do it on one wing. Yeah. Um, it, yeah, it says you can manipulate it in one of the following ways. You can instantaneously move or otherwise change the flow of water as you direct. You can cause the water to form into simple shapes and animate it your direction. You can change its color or path so you can freeze it, providing there are no creatures in it. Um, I am going to say, because it says you can do one of these things... You're going to have to move the water up and on your next turn try to freeze it. Uh, if you'd like to okay. Just just splash him. Yeah. And freeze him. But uh, in <laughs> order splash. to do this without attracting any negative attention, I need a sleight of hand with advantage. Again, this dragon's okay. inclined to trust you right now, but it doesn't mean it's going to blindly trust everything. You oh, do. I just nat 20 that. Yeah. We got a we got we got a fuck we got a man so, on the inside. So <laughs> the dragon sweeps down and bears its fangs at you all as you can see like the like fire like building up in its throat. And Hall kind of just like very carefully, stealthily starts like water bending some 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 of this like brackish pond stuff up, like over the wings, and like gets ready to do something next turn. Mm -hmm. And I and I tell the dragon, remember the the idea is to be uh, instill fear. You can you know what's better than twenty four carrots? <laughs> A hair brained meal. <laughs> I'm not someone Leo. Do okay, guys. I'm not, I appreciate you tried. Okay, <laughs> I'm not Leo. Okay, I'm not Leo. Great song called Great song. All right, uh, it, is, <laughs> it is the dragon's turn, and the dragon says, I don't understand that the preference you tried. Um, the dragon, at that last word, belches fire at all of you. 
And Ninkasi is under the water. But Leo, oh, Curly, and Kaza, I need you all to make a dexterity saving throw. Do we have to? What yeah, you do. I mean, you could just yeah, auto fail. Not... Okay, no, 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 no. I, 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 I need to reload Dungeons Dragons D and D Beyond. This no, is... don't worry, don't worry. Go, go, go ahead and reload it. What did you roll though? <laughs> I rolled a four. You are raging though, so I think you take less damage. Uh, that's a, um. Yeah. Also, I need a, I need the roll from. I uh, have resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, or slashing. Oh, but yeah, I no, feel like none of those I, are. Do you need Curly to make the save as well, please? Oh, and I didn't oh, hit him, so I can't even dex use check. my dudes. I'm sorry. I'm gonna give that to you. I think you're muted again, by the way. Just kidding. I hit the save button. Just ignore that last roll. Just, just pretend it didn't happen. Okay. All right. All right. We pretend. wait. We pretend. Would danger sense count for this, uh, Piro? Uh, you you have advantage on deck saving throws. Yeah. I did, so I can. Okay. Yeah. It's, the dragon just breathes fire at you, so it's dude. Like it's not, it's not I. I <laughs> oh no. All right. Ow. So Curly and Kaza take the brunt of this as Leo is able to like barrel roll out of the way in time. Um, you take. Oh boy. A lot of these sixes. Uh, no. Right no. <laughs> God damn it. Good. I still might Dag fall. Ron. I can't even use my dudes because I didn't hit him. I fixed my health <laughs> so that I have a full health bar. I've <laughs> yeah. had enough of this. Well, there might be some healing boost in the chat. We'll have to find out. Uh, but uh, yeah, let me go ahead. And... Oh my fine. god, it's still not Stop enough. Optimism. Oh Just my god, stop what? Stop going into that bag. Stop it. Stop no it. more it dice. <laughs> okay. Oh. Um, I'm calling a tribal council. <laughs> <laughs> um, everyone, I'm voting dad off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, agreed. Yep. Uh, I'm all in favor of voting dad off. Kaza and Plus Curly, one. you take 17 fire damage. Uh, I am going to stones endurance that. Okay. I did that before the show. <laughs> Hey, nice. Wow. <laughs> you can't take the Chillbringer out of the game ever. Okay, okay. Um, I, I, yeah. I rolled the. So I, I get, I lose. Uh, it's four less damage because I rolled like absolute garbage. Okay. Uh, now for Leo, because you rolled out, you still get singed a little bit. You take, um, I'm gonna say half of that rounded down is going to be yep. eight fire damage. All right. So I take. Also, there is a healing boost for anyone who needs it. This is a one-person healing boost, though. Um, is it possible for me to use Lucky Footwork to try to add 1d4 to my... <laughs> I mean, you can, but I'm going to tell you, on a 6, it's not going to matter. It's not going to... Okay, no worries. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to take the damage. That's I have two health. Okay, you have two hit points. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to suggest you take the healing boost, then, unless someone's lower. I'll take it. Well, I'm about to freeze its wings. <laughs> So it, it uh, this dragon yeah, swoops down low, called, whiffs some water up right behind it, ready to go. It breathes fire at the three of you still standing on the island, and you scatter. Uh, but unfortunately, Kaza and Curly taking full brunt of it, Leo just rolling out of the way. But it is hot. You are burned down. Some of your clothes still on fire as you try to pat them out very quickly. Um, no, but that is not my be... bear costume. Yeah, you're <laughs> already, already low on clothes here. Um, no. <laughs> that is going to be its turn, though, and it is now going to be Sir Talavar's turn. As Ninkasi, hey. you are oh, shit. holding him in your arms. He does not appear to be conscious. <laughs> Leo. That's okay, we'll that. Why are you laughing? Right. <laughs> I hate I hate Sir Talavar. <laughs> this is the most controversial figure in this game right now. Sir it's because he's a lot like me. So there's only like room for one, you know. All right, <laughs> Leo, Leo, you're up. Ninkasi, you're on deck. Curly, you are after that. Ninkasi, you finish the round. So. Oh. Okay. Can't wait. Uh, oh boy. I'm still right. alive. Oh, I totally. Leo is. Leo is going to, uh, after dodging out of the way of the fire, kind of get up, brush himself off. And uh, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna dissonant whisper. It's gonna turn to the dragon and say, "Listen close. I won't repeat. You're a disgrace to all of dragon kind. This will end in your defeat. There won't even be any remains left to find." Oh boy! Ah! 
Ah. Wisdom save? Yep, 14. DC. That's a fail on a nat 5. Ooh, all right. This is a level 1 cast. Or at 9 points. 9 points of damage. Very palpable as the dragon, like, rocks its head and... from side to side in obvious pain as it, like, convulses a little bit. You feel this halt. Uh, I suppose Distant Whispers also says uh, on a failed save, it uh, also must uh, immediately use its reaction, if available, to move as far as its speed allows away from you. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't move into obviously dangerous ground, but uh, yeah, it will move away. Okay. <laughs> this is where I get to have some fun. Uh, uh, no. The dragon I was shakes, just its on a ride, I guess. shakes its head free, looks at you, uh, <laughs> Leo with an unmistakable unmistakable expression of fear and attempts to like turn in midair like tuck and roll and fly like backwards uh, -oh. uh hold I need you to make a deck save to see if you hold on <laughs> sorry hold that, look I love that you try to ride every single animal that that crops up in this game but there are there are do I have an inspiration uh, Hold on did for you have life. inspo? I don't remember. I don't think you did. Um, uh, stalling. Oh. Stalling. <laughs> if anyone wanted stalling. to give him one, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to count to five. Five, four, three. Okay, oh, someone okay, says you had inspo. I don't remember. Oh, uh, okay, okay, cool. Oh, yeah, cool, you never cool, used cool, it. Cool, you never used cool, it. Yeah, cool, go ahead and roll again. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, there you, was you one got it. I believe you got yeah. it and just never used it. Okay, thank you for reminding us, Chad. Oh, my God, it was an at one. Okay, okay. So, uh, oh, oh, fuck, 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 and he, wait, did you just get another one? No. Okay. Uh, as Leo casts this dissonant whispers and the dragon like shudders in pain and flips to fly, completely forgetting you are on its back, uh, you slip and fall into the water. No damage. You are very, very like it's a very quick like you just splash down. Um, yeah. And the water doesn't appear to be that deep. Like you kind of hit the bottom, like just below where your head is. Um, uh -huh. And uh, can I like tread water with my hands up? Like, like yeah, like your fingers water. can like like it's it's just <laughs> above you. It's just above that. So line. I'm still I'm still controlling my shape water. Uh, I mean it's not really concentration. It's a cantrip. I'm gonna give it to you, but but like yeah, like if you wanted to turn it to ice next next turn. But the dragon is zoomed away. Hmm. Uh, and it's flying basically as far away as it can get from Leo this turn. Uh, that is its reaction. Um. And I believe that is going to be Leo's turn. Do I get an attack of opportunity during the, while I fall down? <laughs> it's forced movement, I right? Mean, you, so. Yeah, it's it's forced, and also you fell off with like a nat one dex save. I I, I feel like that's. <laughs> Don't tell me what I did. You're you also concentrating off. on water. I, I feel like that's a lot to a lot to be able to do, <laughs> under different circumstances, um, perhaps, but not this time. Can I also have fifty more inspiration? Thanks. If chat I'm wants to give it to uh, you. <laughs> I have control over that. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, you, you, you hit the water. Leo, is there anything else you'd like to do? Uh, no more bardic inspirations, so no. I guess I'll start to move closer towards where the dragon is, like, fleeing towards, just uh, close in distance. There's, like, kind of a lot of, like, there's a lot of water, like, towards the back of this, like, towards the back of this, like, stump, uh, like, underground sort of. It's, it's almost like a cave made of, like, the stump of the tree. Uh, it's fled over the water, so currently, like, if you want to follow it, you have to get into the water, or you have to find some way to follow it on on the water. Uh, okay. Ooh. Um. There's no other like, uh, boats or skiffs or anything like that within distance. Any other? Boat Agden was in is still there. It's barely. Pushed yeah, off that's short. like a little. Oh, okay. Barely pushed off. Uh... All right. All right. Okay. Might start to go towards that, just like wade into the into the water and try yeah. to you can, you, you reclaim can cover, that. You can cover the dis it's a small island. You can cover the distance in your in your movement to get okay. onto the boat. Yep, we'll do that. Uh, you climb and, in, and uh, uh, Agden is in there, like just, he's on his back, not moving. Okay, I guess we'll uh, call out to the rest. Say, if we want to give chase, this is the way to do it. Okay. What? There's meanwhile, in my mouth. Ninkasi, uh, you are underwater, not having seen any of this, and you are holding. No, on, I have no idea what's going on. You are on. holding on to a, a apparently unconscious Tertalivar. You're up. I've got my small boy in my hands. I'm gonna spare the dying him. Okay. Trouble. 
Uh, to stabilize him. He... <coughs> Hopefully. And passes out entirely. Uh, but you know... Well, he's still underwater, to be fair, so... <laughs> coughs out but he's not dying. Water. Okay, I'm gonna then, like, swim to the surface with him and try and, like, kind of plop him somewhere land-wise. <laughs> uh, I believe, yeah, he was, he was like, 40 feet out, so if you use your full movement, you get back to shore and you can drop him. All right, full movement cool. plus, plus a dash. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think you still have your spiritual weapon if you wanted to... Uh... Can I move it far enough I think on bomb? a bonus act, it, it won't be able to get close enough because so you you had it like 40 feet up in the air. The dragon not only went down to like ground level almost, but then fled away. Yeah. So it's a decent bit of a distance, but you can move it. It's, uh, it's moving oh. I can move it up to 20 feet. Well, I'll move it 20 feet. Why not? I'll move it 20 feet in the direction of the dragon. Yep. Um, That's it. You, uh, you shift it, and as you do, like you... Uh, move and plant your feet as you are back on the ground. Uh, and I'm going to roll something because someone redeemed some treasure that's going okay. to come up in the midst of this. <laughs> All right. Hopefully not something to kill my party with. It's uh, going to be a chest full of boggles. You, you <laughs> pick something <laughs> weirdly soft and you look down and it is a plushie that appears to be in the shape of a pixie. And as you kick it, you hear a little like music box like tinkling play. That's and it's crazy. like it's, it's, I like it's, it. it's like the it's like the ice cream guy song like do 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 That's um, creepy. Yeah. Yay. And it just it just like distracts you for a second but it doesn't, you know, you have already done your spells. Well, I'm going to take it. I'm just going to grab it. Okay. And put it next to Sir Talavar since uh, I assume yeah. they're about the same size. Assuming assuming you're like you're going to take it later, it's yeah, pixie plushie you can add to your inventory. Oh, it's cute. Yeah. It is roughly the the same size and also the same color as Sir Talavar. Oh, it's if little... Sir Talavar dies, it can be his replacement. <laughs> this is dark. Okay, uh, I'm going to assume that's your turn. <laughs> that's it, yep. Curly, yep. you are up. I believe you redeemed your healing boost, right? I sure did, Captain. Okay, also, someone gave the dragon a healing boost. What? <laughs> that's rude as fuck. That's two against two the... 2 plus please. 2, right? Illegal. Bruh. Hmm. Wow, I rolled min and max. Okay. Good enough. <laughs> Woohoo! Thanks, chat. Thank you for watching the last episode of Covens and Cauldrons. We really <laughs> enjoyed it. That's TPK. All We're right, go first. next. Um, Out here. <laughs> wait, that's a leak. Uh, All right, so uh, Curly, you are up then. Dragon retreating. Ninkasi crying. Uh, not crying, but <laughs> not definitely yet. not. He, Sir Talvar didn't die. If he died, she would cry. She, <laughs> as annoying as as he is, she likes him. Leo, where are you? Uh, is uh has made his way onto the skiff that Agden Longstarf started to uh go away with, but he's kind of bringing it back to shore so that people can get on if they want to. Okay, what kind of so so dragon is out of sight now? Dragon is like speeding away, but like still within sight. Like this is this is like an enclosed space that is fairly like dark, but for like the cantrips that you had had floating around. Um, but you know it's not that large, so and the dragon seems larger than any opening you had all gone through. So stands to reason it's it's not gone gone. I don't want him to come back, but I also don't want to chase him down and attack him. So I am at an impasse. <laughs> and I'm, I'm toasty. just I'm gonna take my hoodie off. <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh, can't stand yeah. the heat. What? Get You're giving this away for free? What the, the hell? Oh, my. Layer. Premium content. Dude. <laughs> you just, have to pay for this usually. We're just I'm, giving giving Chat, the one that so lucky. The only fans. <laughs> Okay. Well, look, we all gotta we all gotta make a living these days, boob. Not just you. OnlyFans but... slash it's pyrotechnics. It's uh, all <laughs> um, I think Curly's just gonna go fuss over Kaza. Just be like, "What is this? What is this? Are you okay?" And is also going to just yell it. Just gonna be like, "Are you all right? <laughs> How's it going? Do you need anything?" The uh the what are these? These uh these things only activate Kaza when you get a when you get attacked, right? When an attack roll is made against you. Yes. However, Kaza is just gonna like Kaza like is going to look at Curly and Curly notices that his eyes are just like glazed over and there's like there's just absolutely just nothing staring back at Curly's her. Curly's going to immediately poke him in the eye. He is pissed. 
Oh, okay. Would that actually break him out of the rage? Because that'd be funny. Um, it may not break him out of rage, but I do think it triggers the, the Ancestral Guardian. <laughs> it, <laughs> but my work. Ancestral Guardian's gonna, like, <laughs> get down Mr. President the eye poke. <laughs> yeah, like, you go to poke his eye, and, like, one of the, one of the, um, one of these, like, big spectral goliaths just, like, bats your hand down and looks at you and goes, Please? <laughs> Persuasion check? <laughs> You're gonna have to persuade the spirit. This is funny. This is a good time. I hate the spirit. I just wanna... <laughs> He looks Don't glazed worry, over like he's not himself in the we'll reaction. Recycle. Poke him in the eye. We can recycle it. Get a new one. <laughs> oh my god. 21? Hell yeah. The Guardian, the Guardian <laughs> looks at you and is like... <laughs> and I just... Stands aside. Just very slowly. And like, it's, it's a gentle poke. It's not like we're not going to tear the lining of his eyeball. We're just going to... Uh, this, you know, Kaza, I will let you choose if this takes you out of rage or just lets you stay in it, but still like fun. aware of everything that's going on. That is that is up to you. No, no, I take the, it. It's funnier if it takes me out of rage. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. is it like? Because we're like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Currently, that's my eye. Ah! You were you were doing the thing again. You know when you get mad. Oh, and oh it's not oh. there. Okay. This uh, is better than my previous tactic of cutting you. I, yeah, and we did agree, I, I agree that that was inappropriate. I, we agreed. Yes, very much. It was good idea to not cut me. Thank you very uh -huh. much. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. I used a uh, finger, not not good, a knife. Yes. Good. I, Can you believe I, that? I like I like having eyeballs. Can you believe that? Um, are we are we killing this dragon or what? What? Are, uh, I, well, it's definitely going to come back, but uh, I'm going to say I, I this is know. all you have time for in your round to talk. If you wanted to take an okay. action, you still can. Okay, I'm going to take an action to keep talking. <laughs> wow! Oh. I asked for that one. Um, but this okay, is, this but is a listen. time thing, so it's got to be quick. Do we want a chubby bunny, this motherfucker, or not? I mean, you, if you have to ask, we already <laughs> should probably have done chubby bunny. That's true. That's true. Well, I have four knives. Pulls out four knives. Oh, sorry, three knives, because one of them's still stuck in the ceiling. It's like, I have extra knives. Uh, but we can also use a bow and arrow. I have a, uh, I have a big long sword. What, I'm, what do you think? I'm gonna, you say, think? It's, I, I'm gonna say it's Kaza's I, turn now. Okay, but can Kaza, <laughs> Chubby Bunny, Curly if, if you, onto if the dragon? If you want to throw your sister- How far is the dragon? How far the is the dragon? The dragon has flown away, but is at like, is at ground level, but it has flown as far as it can get, which is about 40 feet away from the island to the west, effectively. So like to the left of you. Hmm. May not be the easiest throw, but you have done you have done crazier things. It's true, we have. We have. Okay. And we won't stop. Chubby bunny. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, because you have not you have not taken an stop, action. I'm going to say you can ready this up to take an attack in midair if you if you connect with the dragon. Hell yeah. Just right. do the. So we have established this rolling. is a athletics check for Kaza, yes. an acrobatics check for Curly, and then the attack yep. roll. So please give me them in that order. Uh, you're going to need to pass both before the attack can go through. That is not a successful athletics check is what I'm going to say. Chad, right give now. me an inspiration. Okay, yeah, I got an inspiration. Thank you. you. That was that, yeah, that was, that was quick. Best. Um, go ahead and yeah, roll one more time for the athletics. You need a 15. 19, okay, finally. you do it. Um, you heave Curly into the air with as much strength as you can muster and Curly, uh, you got inspo for the attack, but we need to see if you hit the athletics or the acrobatics first. You rolled. Uh, you rolled, rolled 15. a 15. Yeah, that was exactly what you needed to pass. Uh, <laughs> hey, you, just, you fly straight and true towards the dragon. You know exactly how to position your body. You have done this with your brother so many times with your dynamic so duo uh, ability. Oh and uh, give me the attack roll with advantage because you have inspiration specifically for it. Okay. Um, can I use the rapier that she has? Yeah. For that, since it does more damage, it does have a five foot reach. So am You're I getting going into to be melee close range? Now? That's what this was. Okay. Yeah. You are, you are, literally, <laughs> you are being bodily thrown there. at a retreating dragon. <laughs> rapier out, like you're you're trying to like like <laughs> bullet impale. I'm like a bee. <laughs> uh, you need to roll the you need to roll the attack roll though first. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. No I'm worries. Worst, guys. We'll keep the damage roll if you hit. Okay. Aw, that's the best. 
if I hit. <laughs> you have Rage. advantage on this. I the slowness of the dice rolling animation is it gonna is give me so a much oh. tension. <laughs> So much to, oh, a dirty twenty! Yeah, I knew you, it. Uh, you didn't. You don't need the advantage, um, but you can roll again to see if you crit. Really? Yeah. You want me to roll my attack to see my crit? Yeah, well, because you got the inspo specifically for this attack from chat. Yeah. Okay. So amazing. if you roll a nat twenty, I'm you so crit sorry. on the hit, and that's just to see if you do better. If he's okay, can I also add the sneak attack damage onto it? Oh yeah, it? no, you have advantage, and therefore <laughs> sneak attack applies. Yeah, so you don't crit. Okay, okay, um, great. But you, you get you get the nine rip your damage, and yeah, please roll sneak attack. Oh my god, so fun! I haven't been able to use this yet because nobody's <laughs> retreated from me. <laughs> nobody's scared. I'm a little bunny, <laughs> but they will be. They'll remember my name. It's thirteen. Thirteen damage. <laughs> my okay. name is thirteen. <laughs> In a moment, in a flash of inspiration as the two siblings bicker for a moment, Kaza hefts up Curly, throws with all his might. Curly goes sailing like through a the air, baseball. a absolute, like, like bullet G6. rabbit, rapier out straight in front of you. And in just like a split second, as the dragon's flying, you connect right in the, like, the thigh of the leg, and you go through the rapier goes all the way through and impales the dragons it's not the largest of swords but you manage to make it all the way through and you hear this unearthly scream of pain as the dragon writhes and kind of starts like lurching a little bit you are currently holding onto a rapier that is stuck in this <laughs> dragon you are still up like you you're like on like just above the water level basically like hanging on like your toes are just skimming the water <laughs> And uh, you have managed to do some serious damage with that grand total of, you said, 13 damage? Yeah. Yeah. That's where uh, I what a turn. Then, Chubby bunny. Cause is going to use the rest of his movement to, like, run after, like. <laughs> it's on the water, the for the record, so. <laughs> like, you can get out. Like, you, you, oh, you yeah. can right, 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 right. hop in the boat. Hop in the boat, probably. Okay. Yeah, okay. that's you have enough movement. It's not a big island. You have enough movement to make it there. So that's now Leo uh, in the boat and Kaza in the boat. And I believe that's also... Is anyone else in there? Or is it just you two? I'm not. Uh, for now, I think it's just us two. Yep, because yeah, yeah Nikasi just got back to shore um, and Hull's still in the water. Mm -hmm. Okay, so mm -hmm. uh, top of the order. I'm going to roll... Okay. Uh, as you are all looking to push off, you hear like a, a weak like... <laughs> from below you, as Agden Longstar sits up, because uh, he rolled a nat 20 on his death save. <laughs> he wakes oh. up, I sail over the boat. <laughs> yeah, he might have seen that. Uh, well, <laughs> it is your turn. You, uh, okay. actually, you know what? Yeah, Agden, yeah, he's two days to really do anything. Oh, he's, he's still alive? Yeah, he's like, right Why is he still right alive? Uh, Punch him. <laughs> yeah, Punch hold, him hold it's your turn, you're underwater. And you just reach the surface, and you see a acrobatic rabbit soaring over your head and mm -hmm. impaling the dragon's leg uh, some mm -hmm. distance away. Um, and I'm like, huh? Eldritch blast! Go ahead. <laughs> <Call him. laughs> uh, that's pretty good. Eighteen. Yeah, that's enough to hit. <laughs> All right. Do you get two of those? So, huh? You get two of those, right? To what? Eldritch Blasts. No, not till I think five. Oh, unlucky. Okay. Where it's next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or <laughs> I didn't get that thing. I, I, there's a reason. Okay, so, gotcha. um, damage, right? Yep, 1d10. And I look at Curly and I go, <sighs> four. <laughs> <laughs> just so you're looking at me, but you're also <laughs> you're like I just imagine finger guns. You're like <laughs> it's more like wow. a dab. Uh, it's more of a dab. <laughs> okay, it's the dragon's turn, and as it is freaking out as to whether as to what the heck just happened, and it looks down and sees like a little bunny holding onto a sword that has pierced its leg through that it's now bleeding out of. It's going to attempt to wheel its neck around and bite at you. 
going to be difficult, though, to kind of reach. Like, you know, like, you gotta, yeah. got to do that cat thing, you know, the jazz leg where they're like, ah. So this is going to be a disadvantage. Jazz leg. That's what we call it when my cat licks himself. I don't know what anyone else calls it. I love it. that, actually. It's like he can feel the beat. Okay. Uh, bad news is, even with disadvantage, that's still going to be a 21 to hit. Huh? She done. She toast. That's oh, the fuck, end of Curly. Good. Now, do you, have, <laughs> do you have a... You don't have uh, any reactions, do you? Healing uh, boost chat. Any day, no. I, I have to spare the dying. I just need to get to you. <laughs> do you have I have dodge lucky or you footwork. Too... Oh. Which... What does that do again? Uh, when I fail a deck saving, that was uh, that deck. That was not, not even remotely. Oh, you could have used it on that other one. Yeah, I'm dumb. Uh, no. <laughs> I can punch, that. kick, headbutt. Okay, I swear to God, I got another <laughs> 10 on the D10. Bro. Oh my god, okay. she's literally made of jelly. Uh, you, you take have... 10 piercing damage and 2 fire damage. Okay. For a total of 12. All right. That's a lot of damage. Okay. That's a lot of that damage. Was, that was like max piercing damage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have 7 HP now and I feel fine. Nobody worry about me. Okay. I'm great. I'm doing great. Uh, <laughs> everything's okay. It is everything's Sitalbar's awesome. turn and he is out, but he is stable. So... <laughs> That's going to be it. Everything is awesome. Uh, Leo, <laughs> no, you are, nothing's wrong. Leo, you're up. Ninkasi, you're on deck. Uh, Curly, you're Ooh. in the hole. And um, yeah, Leo, you you hear like a weak little like... <laughs> and Agden Longstar Scarf opens like a very bleary eye like at your feet. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, so first question about the, the positioning of this uh, skiff. Are we on like the same side of where the dragon flew off to or opposite side? You're on the same, um, you're like, on the same the side. Island? Like, it's, it's kind of like a little like... The island is okay. kind of like a little rounded, but goes towards the edge of the of like the stump. And the dragon took off to the west. You were kind of at the southern edge of the island, so like diagonally, you're still about the same distance because it's just such a small area. Like it's about like 30 okay. feet, but you need to paddle it or or somehow get the boat there fast enough, which is different than obviously your regular move speed. Yeah. Um. Another question: What direction do we enter this kind of layer from? Further to the south, there was another island where um, the, south. the spiral staircase okay. led out. And then, so Agden tried to originally flee to the west. He fled to the boat, um, and he or he fled to the boat and was like looking to set off towards the west. Um, okay. Which where there's like a little opening, like that's you know skiff sized, um, okay. not necessarily dragon sized, and he did not make it very far before you KO'd him. Yeah. Okay, that's direction he tried to go. Uh, is to control or like move this boat? Is that going to take an action or? Uh, you, you know that you paddled the boat to get through here, and there are, like, paddles, but if you wanted to pick one up and start moving it, or directing the rest of, um, the, like, Kaza as well to, to start paddling, you could do. It's going to basically be, like, a kind of a group skill check, but I'm going to, like, allow it as movement if you succeed enough athletically. If not, it's going to take your action. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. There's a lot to do here, potentially. Um, Agden's waking up. That's... Uh, I think. What do I even have? Leo just try to like <laughs> pull out a dagger with like the 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 hilt of it, just like bonk him on the head and like do some odd lethal. Oh, damage you want to you want to you want to just knock him back out again? Yeah. Yeah. Roll a, <laughs> a roll attack with advantage because he's prone. Him. Okay. Cool. Uh. I mean, like basically, you, you can't miss him, but it, it's either you knock him out or you don't do enough to knock him out. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's uh. <laughs> oh. I'll give you, I'll give you the D I'll give you the D four roll. It's 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 the same as a coin flip basically. Um, he like wakes up oh, and like starts to put his head up very like, and you just like Looney Tunes bash him on the head with the back of the dagger, and he's out again. <gasps> okay. Yeah, that is your action. Good, very good, good Leo. Yep, didn't want him uh, putting any uh, dampers in our plans here. I thought I dealt with him before, but now hopefully, uh, right. Um, and so who's on the bird at this point? Is it you and Kaza? Uh, and Kaza, okay. Uh, Kaza, you're very strong. Maybe you can paddle this thing. Of course, I, I can I, I, try I... to help. But yeah, you strong. Very She's strong. gonna grab both of the. Oh, thank you. This is very nice. And you should grab both of the oars <laughs> and just fucking... Do I just need to roll anything or like... Yeah, so the way we're going to resolve this is you're going to make an athletics okay. check on your turn. 
with help okay. from Leo because he is. Uh, we're, we're we're playing by uh, 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 Ost rules where if you cheerlead, it gives help. Um, so uh, it's the help action effectively, <laughs> and you'll have advantage. And if you succeed on the check, you don't burn an action doing this. If you fail, you burn an action, but you're still doing it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so that'll be that'll be resolved on your turn. Uh, Ninkasi, you are up. Curly, you're next. Um. So can I reach Curly? Curly is like like hanging from the leg of the dragon. Uh, that's just yeah. bit at her. Uh, it's about. 40 feet away from you at this point as it's not moved from its last movement um, and the boat has not started rowing just yet but you could hop in the water and attempt to swim okay um, I'm gonna hop it. in the water and attempt to swim towards every well actually before I do that how's Sir Talvar look now that I've done Spare the Dying on him? <laughs> I mean you, you you know your abilities like he he's still pretty beat up but he doesn't appear to be in any mortal danger as far as you can tell okay um, or any further mortal I'm danger, trying to at least. remember, did we have any good berries left? I don't know. Uh, that would be up to you guys if you have them in your uh, in your pack. Mm, I'm trying to remember. Um, I'm gonna say if you don't have them in your pack, like then then you don't have them. But if you <coughs> find them in yeah, inventory, I know we took some. And like split them up, so I'm gonna assume we don't have any. Okay. You might, have, you might have eaten them. Yeah, it was a while ago, unfortunately. Well, actually, it was last session, but. Well, I mean, yeah, but three last weeks. Session was a while ago. <laughs> we were yeah, out so of game time. okay. Yeah. Actually, I uh, don't know if you ate them or not, because yeah, you were given them by the dryad, right? Yes, Demolin. Okay. Well, I'm gonna trust um, if you have them in your inventory or not. No, I didn't put anything in my inventory. Uh, so, uh, I'm just gonna say no, don't. All right, well, he's not dying, so that's all that matters, really. Um, so I'm gonna start swimming towards the group, um, okay. and I'm taking my pixie plushie with me, not leaving it with him. There you go. Just in case. It is, um, it is 40 feet, um, but just above the water, so you would need to dash if you wanted to cover the full distance, but you can get 30 feet there on the water, uh, leap included into the water. Okie dokie, that's all I'm doing then. Okay. Um, so you, you make it, you, you make it, uh, with the dash, you make it just below, uh, where Curly is. Okay. Curly, I know Curly is very low and hurting yep. a lot. Curly, you, uh, you are hanging on I've as, got one the, spell as left. the teeth, as the teeth, like, come, uh, come away from you. You can kind of, like, feel, like, this, like, burn, burnt, like, singed feeling as, like, the wound is a little bit cauterized already. Um, and, Ooh. uh, a head pops up out of the water below you and Nikasi looks up. Um, and you're, you're right, you're just right above. I've got one spell left. I can heal you. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking, up. <laughs> I'm looking down. I'm sorry. This is the worst. I don't know why I did this. <laughs> I'm sorry to I'm cast it. like I'm going to catch her, but can... like if she falls, she'll probably just like drown me. You can let go <laughs> well, if you want drown, anytime, so okay. anytime, Curly. I'm not letting go. I'm going to oh. keep this rapier or okay. die. <laughs> what would you like to do with your turn? Uh, as don't you let go, Jack. The melee range of the dragon. Ah, uh, frick. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to pull the rapier out and fall into the fall into the water with okay, it. Okay, so you're gonna try. You're gonna try. Yeah, you're good. Okay. Um, yeah. Not leaving without the rapier. I'm not gonna make you roll for this. Like it was mostly flavor <laughs> that you that you impaled the dragon. Anyways, uh, yeah. you yank yeah. it out. Like you like one one paw on the on the leg, no! pull it out, and then poop, fall down uh, into <laughs> into Ninkasi's <laughs> arms if she wants to catch oh. you. <laughs> I'll do my best. I imagine I can tread water pretty well as a yeah. water canoe. Yeah, how so tall like, are you? You know, I'm like five. I think I'm five six or five yeah. six or something like this that. This is a fairly low pool of water. It's about like seven or eight feet tops. Um, and I'm very little. So like, I'm gonna okay, say so like you catch and like you might like your feet might touch the ground, but you can like pop back up to the surface to like kind of float okay. really easily. That sounds accurate. Yeah. I'm not gonna make you roll for that. It's, it's easy enough. It's like it was not a big distance to drop. Um, Curly, uh, I'm gonna say that's your movement. Yeah, uh, uh, that's my whole. And then she's just gonna burrow herself in an Nkasi and just be like, "I missed you. I'm sorry." <laughs> it's okay. And that's, it's okay. Yeah, it's just like, just like uh, patting her back mix. like she's my child. It's a mix yeah. of like a burnt <laughs> toast and like wet dog smell. Oh, yes. So I smell terrible, and I'm just rubbing myself into her shoulder, all distressed. Oh, yeah. Well, at least that's we're in really water. Cute. Yeah, uh, right. Kaza, She'll you're be up. Cleansed. <laughs> Kaza, I'm sorry. Kaza, oh yeah, we're uh, doing. Uh, yeah, we're rowing. Advantage, please. Kaza, just like. 
Okay. Well, that's the first roll. I hate. I hate, oh, 15, 30, Okay. Yeah. Right, look, 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 uh, <laughs> for one second, like you kind of like slip grabbing the other orb, but you like redouble your efforts, and then it's just it's like full on like just moving and the boat just takes off so fast that leo you almost have to like grab is this like is this side. like end of peter pan yeah type, no super type levels of yeah okay. there's the, the okay. alligators chasing uh chasing captain hook and you're just going yeah. um, and you zoom off like it's it, it might as well be a motorboat at this point uh you do not use your action to do this this is going to count for your movement and you get you pull up like right next to ninkasi and uh and 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 curly uh and you're just below the dragon that is like writhing around in pain flapping its wings uh, can I like just like hook my arm down in the water and just like bring them onto the boat? Yeah, that'll be your action to do. But you can uh, you can joint okay. them up. I'm not gonna make you roll another athletics for it. I think that's like if it's your action, it's gonna be free. Okay. Cosmo okay. will probably just do that then. We being yoinked. Yeah. So just, just get. You just dredge them back up. Um, they're onto the boat. Right. And that is uh that is the end of your turn unless you have a bonus action to do. I. Do not. Okay. Uh, That's as, my turn. as we are, this is a good point, as we are uh, in the midst of things, but halfway through the session, this, uh, as you all are sitting below the dragon, readying for your next move as it, as, as it is bleeding, as it is significantly damaged and even more significantly irritated, we're going to take a break. I thought you were going to say another one appears or something, and I was, like, <laughs> bracing myself. Ooh. More dragons. Yeah, I mean, well, you know, we do have some acts of God to resolve. I'm just going to lay that out there. We'll see oh, what yes. happens when we come right back in 10 minutes. We'll see you all right after this. Thanks.